Hey, randomizer. Welcome to another Ordery Gear video. So this is the fleet guide. Um, it's going to be a quick one because I'm not going to talk too much about the fleet system. Uh, in my opinion, the fleet system is quite bad. You can see that on my AG main account, I only upgraded the supply ship to level two, and uh, I only did it because it's part of the uh, quest line. And when we upgrade, look at the gold cost, and um, I think personally. The gold is somewhat worth it. What you want to do is look at how long it takes to recuperate the cost of the gold and then calculate, you know, uh, what is it worth to you? Because I think at level five, uh, the cost goes up very, very significantly. So maybe the level four to five upgrade, you want to take it a bit slow. But again, do the calculation because um, this is your cap. Uh, how many you get in nine seconds and do a quick rundown. So if we do a quick calc, uh, so let's say this upgrade is 50,000 and we use our calculator here. So 50,000 divided by nine, which is uh, 5,500, uh, 5,555 seconds and time uh, divided by that 60, you get minutes, 92 minutes, you get your cost back. So that is worth it in my opinion. Uh, so you upgrade that. And then uh, if you upgrade it further, um, of course, you can always see the uh, the gold acquiring per second. So gold is all right to push. Maybe stop at level four. Just look how much it's costing you in terms of gold and make a decision then. However, the armament, I personally don't like it at all. Um, the cat balls, EXP is not really a problem in the beginning. And uh, I'll show you actually on my JP account. So this is my JP account. And if we go to our fleet in the JP account, uh, let's take a look here. So for my JP account, I upgraded the gold to max level. I remember being stuck or waiting at uh, level five because it cost a lot of gold. And um, at level five, it's about six seconds per one. So you can see if you do the calculation, if it's going to be worth it for you. Uh, I think I only upgraded from level four to level five uh, a few weeks later. But then the gold I kept, sorry, the cat, I kept at level three. Um, honestly, there's no point to even upgrade it further. You're just swimming in cats and you want to sell them all the time. So if you look at the progress, the issue is you have so many alphas, you don't have, um, you won't have uh, fodders at all to upgrade them. And then look how many cats I have. This is all cats. And I don't use them because it's so easy to level things. Um, so the cats are just sitting, I even sell cats for exp because everything i want to level all the content i run it's three with a space for one fodder so there's no reason why i should ever use cats so it's really just a waste and every day you do at least once the cat stage for uh, the bonus boost so you'll be swimming in cats anyhow and it's purple cats so there's really no point for you to upgrade the cat system um, unless you know you are looking for completion sake or if you are hoping to um uh, to get uh, more cats in the early game. But again, don't sweat it. So yeah, that's a quick guide. I don't think I'm going into too much detail. It's very plain and simple. Upgrade the gold, uh, work out the timing, uh, do some maths to see if uh, you can reap the reward in, let's say, a month or something. Um, and then just stick with level four, stop for a bit, and then go to level five because gold is very scarce in the beginning. And then for a cat, just leave it as it is. I don't recommend leveling it at all. So yeah, that's my guide for the uh, the fleet upgrade system. Um, I can talk about this patch later on, but uh, for now, there will be a uh, unique equipment guide coming up. Uh, and also the last video, if you look on my channel, there's a giveaway. I'll be packing 20 people for monthly packs. So uh, do enter that if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.